Hello and welcome to this video where we will be looking at collecting Space Wolves for 40k 2nd edition. Like all Space Marine armies, Space Wolves are much cheaper to collect on account of their high points costs. The Space Marine Codex books of the time are pretty rigid, and could not take combat squads, which were introduced in White Dwarf number 209, so you should allow for them, which is especially useful if you are playing smaller sized games. As for collecting, the OG Space Marine range is still my favorite, for the amount of scope it has in kit bashing alone. The Wolf Pack kit contains an abundance of bits, and can represent either Grey Hunters, Blood Claws or Wolf Guard in power armor. Surprisingly, Games Workshop do a fair deal on 15 Blood Claws for £30. The sprues look identical to the Wolf Packs, so that's 15 Marines for the price of 10. That's roughly 420 points of minis if we were to simply arm them all with additional chain swords. Not bad. You shouldn't need more than 30 marines in a given army. Beyond the standard wolf pack kit you may want to purchase the devastator kit to build long fangs, and the assault squad kit for blood claws with jump packs, as well as getting additional assault weapons. The stern guard kit contains all the special weapons you need, and may serve as a basis for any character models that you may want to kit bash, though they aren't especially wolfy out of the box. There is also the squad upgrade frame, which, along with Wolf Lord Krom, could be used to kit bash a nice in scale Ragnar Blackmane. Beyond the new sculpts of characters available, such as Ulrich the Slayer and the Iron Priest, which have increased in scale slightly, you might want to pop the normal marines onto some cork for a little extra height, especially if you run them alongside Primaris marines. Additional options include the Forge World kits such as the Death Sworn, perfect for converting your own Wolf Priests or Wolf Guard Champions. If you seek further customization, then companies like Chromic and Spellcrow, as well as the numerous 3D print STL files or bits available, should mean no end to the levels of customization you want. Now, because you're here, and it is my duty to serve, I have included some rough and ready rules for two additional units. Let's dive in. First, we have everyone's favorite loyal doggos, the Fenrisian Wolves. At 20 points per model, they are fast agile hunters that use dispersed formation to hunt down enemy units or stray enemy characters. Their attacks cannot be parried when they charge, whilst if they outnumber enemy models, they count as having one additional model higher. They also have a follow-up move of 4 inches, but have a relatively low leadership, so can be easy to break. Next, we have the Thunderwolf Cavalry. In 2nd edition Cavalry added more movement and additional attacks, but counted as one wound models. There were no rules, as such, for more monstrous mounts. The closest comparison we have are the Juggernauts of Corn from Codex Chaos. I've simply copied those rules across to the Thunderwolves. This means that shooting hits between the rider and mount are randomized, with a result of 1 to 3 hitting the rider, and a result of 4 to 6 hitting the Thunderwolf. The rider and mount fight separately in hand to hand. If either is killed, then the other fights on. Lastly, I felt Thunderwolves should cause fear. That concludes our look at collecting Space Wolves for 2nd edition. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment for more 2nd edition content. Praise be to the Wolf King.